Hi. Am I tired? That's it for chip. All right, so yeah, here I am. Uh, how did we get into this? So I guess today I want to make an apple pie thing. I don't have my own apples. My girlfriend's dad brought us some Piggly Wiggly a couple days ago, and I think these are fried apples right here, like some fried apple cinnamon stuff. They smell like a pie filling, but they're super watery. So I'm gonna see if I can transform this into good enough to I can make apple pie with it. If I can't get this thing open. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm winded. I should not be winded like this. Jeez Louise. Oh my goodness. Open you donk. You look at that. Look how watery it is. That doesn't even look like. Hold on, I need something to taste this with. That looks disgusting. If it's gross, I'm gonna try to make it better. Put some paper towel here. Let me see. It smells like it. Yep, that's apple cider. It's supposed to be like that sweet apple cidery thing. Well, this will be useful, so I can use this. So yeah, I'm making a little apple pie thing, like an apple danish, I guess. So first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna separate the apple from the. What the heck is this? It's a burnt piece of. The heck? Oh, it's not. It's a dry piece of potato was in my strainer. What the heck? Always make sure you train. See, don't get strange like this. This is hard as heck to clean. All right, so first thing I gotta do, I gotta separate these like so. Good look at that. That is cinnamon fried apple. Like you can see the cinnamon in the bottom. They made it too liquidy. They didn't try to add no like fat to it, or cornstarch, or flour, anything. We made this thing thicker. So that's why I got some cornstarch in this. Only reason I got it in this because it came in a box, and the box sucks. But yeah. You can use these, save these, use them as Tupperware for any extra dips or sauces. Ugh. Always winded. Ugh. This thing will open. See, I'm, the biggest thing I'm scared of is opening this thing and the liquid flying everywhere. So I kind of open this down here. Ugh. 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 My cameraman right now is a ferret. I don't know why. Girlfriend got bored, started playing with it. Oh, I'm kind of, I'm actually pushing this thing down while I'm opening it at the same time, so I feel stupid. Oh, there you go. It's open. There you go. My hands are already sticky just for opening this thing, bro. Alright, sweet. So now, this is all filled. Up, it's gonna set this to the side, I guess. Or not really. We're gonna go over to, we're gonna put these to the side, gotta wash these later. Sweet. Now I'm gonna put this. Hmm. No, nope, we're gonna work on this first. We're going to the stove. They can cut it down. Just kind of get over here so I can just step out of the way. You can cut it. You know that, right? <laughs> All right. So, cam camera's on. Angie's head right now. Mm -hmm. Angie's become less and less a part of the channel. <laughs> yeah. So I'm just gonna take this butter, throw it right in the pan. I don't think it's hot enough. Okay. okay. <laughs> I'm just, I guess right now, let's throw in some sugar and some cinnamon because this thing needs to be thickened up. That's already basically kind of. Good. I'm gonna throw a little bit of water in here too, but like that's later. Cause it's already basically cooked, so we just really, really need this. Cause this thing is not thick enough. They added no butter to this mess, or no thickening to it. Thickening agent. Maybe a little bit of water so I can get some um, keep it from sticking the pan. Look at that. Did you know that cinnamon is hydrophobic? Look, it's scared of water. It's freaking out right now. <laughs> I'm probably so lazy buttermilk, but I'm too lazy to do that. I'll, I'll be so lazy I need to make more work for myself. Get some brown sugar. Um, oh, I didn't have nothing to scoop it up with. <laughs> I don't, want, don't need much, because the thing's already sweet, so I'm just going to add a little bit of brown sugar. So I got something in there. 
That's it. Uh, and then I got that liquid there. And that'd be useful because it'd be like a. It's almost like a cider. I think. It tastes like cider. Mm. For real, for real. It looks disgusting though. It looks so brown and like dirty waterish. It's so so weird. Also, the food it came with. We got this from. So he he brought us two. Uh, meals from Piggly Wiggly. It tasted like not tasted like it was fish, bread, scrambled eggs, and apple. That's such a weird combination of foods. Fried fish and scrambled eggs with cheese and bread. That bread's the only thing that actually goes with anything else up there. That's How so, gross! That's so weird. Right, Starting to melt a little bit more. Probably could add the other stuff. There's meat in the burn underneath the burner. Hopefully that burner doesn't cut meat that meat on fire. Right. So I'm just gonna add this cinnamon cider juice. Let's add that in there. It's a lot of liquid in here. I don't need this rest of water for real, less for like the cornstarch, but that to the side. I do not have oh wait. wait Kind of mix this together. It did not look good. Mm -hmm. it not, it look, okay, now it's starting to change color. It was being grayish brown. It was not good looking. So this stuff brown, no, it's not cooking. Probably threw water into it too fast. It's better cooking up the level of place, but it does not matter. So it's going to be stuff added to this. Like the apples we're going to be in a second. Look at that if you want to. Kind of look kind of weird. I think I kind of rested a little bit, but it should be fine. It's not gonna matter. Once mm -hmm. the apples go in, they're gonna be clinging to each other, soaking up. So I need to get boiled a little bit. It's really hot in here, and I hate cooking today. It's been hot in here for the past week. It's been burning hot. We had the fan on, everything blowing side to side does not matter. AC on does not matter. It's just been it's been 90 of the, almost 90 degrees outside at night, midnight. So. It's a food vlog. I didn't start making food vlogs for real. We I mean, look at um, Okay. All of something above me or something. Cause you keep looking off to the side. I'm looking at the screen. Oh, the screen. Oh yeah, I forgot the screen right there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm stupid. All right, so I'm just gonna add this apple now. Cause I don't really need to cook it. I just need to get the stuff to heat up a little bit so I can. Actually, you know, I'm gonna go hold off on the apple. I'm, I need the thing to heat up so I can put the cornstarch in here and thicken it up before I start adding stuff like apple. I oh, see now. Yeah, it's starting to heat up. So I probably can throw it in the apple. But first, let me mix up the cornstarch and the water. Look out right behind you. Sorry, I forgot to grab this too. This thing's gonna fly. This thing's gonna powder open when I open it. So I'm gonna back up over here. <laughs> I'll need a little bit. Gotta get another spoon that I'm not put into liquid. So a tiny bit. I don't need much, just need a tiny bit because I'm not trying to over do it. I need more than that. So now I gotta shake it off into it. Probably better if I did this in the first place. Mm -hmm. You can hear it kind of boil now. So now, it's going to stir us up a little bit. Oh. Our ferrets should be able to kill themselves, don't they? Yep. Always jumping off stuff for no reason. Alright, so now it's boiling. It's going to uh, add a little bit of this. And start whisking this up. Try to get thick in a little bit, and then we'll throw the apples in right after this. Come on, come on, see, look, it's changed color. I probably saw her on light, it's easier to see. Uh, let me see that, let me do that. There you go. Way easier to see. Mm. <laughs> a little bit more. Don't want to have too much, it's just going to be slop. I need it thickening up, it's not thickening up. Oh, it's getting thicker now. Also, 
probably just close to that with it. Okay, so it's basically there, so I'm just going to add the apple here now. There you go. That's sweet. Put that in there. Can't use this no more because it's too thick. Put that in there. Use this now. Stir the apple in here. And hopefully, when it cools down, I could probably add a little bit more. Hopefully, when it cools down, it would have gotten thick enough to use in that pie. Maybe add a little bit too much, but I don't care. This if it's sweet, if it's still sweet and edible, it's called it's gonna be bread stuff. If it's sweet and edible, it's still edible, you know. Yes. Well, of course, if it's edible, it's edible. That's legit what the word edible means. So now I'm just gonna let this cool down off the burner so it can harden, not harden, thicken up. And we're just gonna move on to the next thing. All right, so now I'm gonna put some flour down because this thing does like to stick. You know, it's a refrigerated fry crust. It's like cold fry crust. It likes to stick. Put a little bit down, not much. Just whip it around. Spread it as much as I can. Not too much because I don't want it being I had a giant silicone sheet, but I don't, so you know, gotta use this burn knife to open up this thing because thing likes to, she's climbing, yeah. likes to thingy thingy thing. Gotta get this thing open. I'm gonna cut this up anyway, so that's the craziest part. Gotta do a double, like a, kind of almost like an apple pie from McDonald's, trying to do that kind of style. It's the hardest part trying to get this backwards open up right here. I see. There you go. It's breaking. Sweet. Nice. I love it. I love when it breaks. There's no way I'm getting this without breaking it. Heck yeah. Heck yeah, my favorite. Oh, heck yeah, bro. There we go. Breaking when I'm rolling it. Heck yeah. I love this. It's my style. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Just unroll that. Unroll the first rate pie crust. You see all the breaks in it. Because things great. Heck yeah. And so what I'm gonna do here, I love it to the top too. Look to my hand. I'm gonna try to roll it out so it can be like at least kind of rectangle-ish. Not trying to break it though, so gotta get this thing rolled back out. So I see if I can actually get it kind of blended back together. Yeah, see, it's that easy. Get get it put back together, just roll it out. Not trying to make it too thin though. These edges a little bit. Come about to do it next. I'm gonna cut it. This pizza cutter. <laughs> How the heck did you get up there? <laughs> You're grounded, Missy. You're grounded. <laughs> Alright. So, I guess I'm trying to figure out how to do this. I'm going to do this. One, two, three, that's about thin that one. And then four. So, I'm trying to see what I can do here. I'm gonna cut this one in half. 
That's this, there's one pie right there. Cut this one in half. Two right there. This is the second one. This one in half. Third pie. Heck yeah. This is third pie. This one right here is the fourth. This is the fifth and the sixth. I cut that one kind of weirdly, but it does not matter. These are going to be small ones. This is for extra half. Uh, let's put that right there. Frederick Pipe Brush is weird. Yep, there you go. All right, so I bet. So things should be way cooled down by now. What I'm gonna do? Take my pot here. Yes, cool down. Get out of my way. Look at that sludge. Yeah, it doesn't look good. Don't look too appetizing. Just gonna put that right there. That's so liquidy. I try my best to make it not liquidy, but that thing has some liquid in it. I should probably get something to strain out the liquid with for real for real because I feel like this, this feeling should be the only thing in here, not the mad liquid. So I'm, a, I'm about to strain this again. I'm about to do it. So whatever we lose, we lose. Mm -hmm. This thing is disgusting. We well, can see that this is a huge mess. But now, and it's got prick leaves, I'm going to put them in the oven at 400 for like. 10 minutes. This is the nastiest, messiest mess I ever made. I made a lot of mess before. This is so stupid. I hate this. This is dumb and I hate it. But it's something. So you're going to use this. You're going to add water to the edges. You're going to press this down on all sides. Look at that. Ugh. Bro. Bruh. Jeez Louise. This is awful. I gotta wipe all this mess up. This was the worst idea I ever had. I should have just made a regular pie. I should have made a regular pie, bro. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness gracious. And I gotta pick this mess up. How am I supposed to make this mess up? I gotta get a spatula. I gotta spatula the pie off my table. This is crazy. I can't keep doing this, man. I'm on my edge, bro. <laughs> it ended all right now. Yo, gross. Gross, gross, gross. Let's kind of clean this up. I'm losing it slowly. I'm at my very limit. I can't keep doing this mess. I can't even get it off this spatula. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I can't get off this spatula. Get off the spatula. Get off. Get off. Step off. There we go. I put oil in the spatula now to get the spatula to slide in underneath it. That's crazy. That's insane. This one's busted open. This one's broke. This one broke. I'm sorry. This one's not going to put my oil out. This has real. There it is. Look out. Out of my way. Out of my way, nerd. There's no spray oil in here. I'm running out of spray oil. Jeez Louise. I'm tired of this mess. I took too much. Dang it. Ugh. There's nothing in here. It's just aerosol at this point. Oh, <laughs> Kill myself. You're next. You're next. No. This sucks. First things first, I didn't know I was supposed to let this thing kind of like get kind of warm room temperature first or something like that. Now I'm doing this mess. And I gotta press down this mess. Look at this giant mess on the table. I'm tired of this. But it tastes good. Okay. Alright, now I'm just gonna add the egg boss to this mess. 
This mess is stupid. It's not enough. <laughs> One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Oh, I got six. Even. Mm -hmm. They're all the same size, though. I say where? Six. Hold on one sec. Actually, I need to do something else. I stay right in that spot. Add a little slice this into it. That's the thing that cutting. There you go. That one cut a little bit. It's not, not, it's not cutting. Usually someone like have like a little razor blade just for this. You know that, Angie? A razor blade? Yeah, some people have razor blades for this. What the heck? Yeah. And that's it. And I'm just going to the other. It's going to take like a, 10 minutes. All right, there you go. And they're done. The pie crust sealed up every cut I made. I don't think some of the cuts were deep enough. You can see kind of like little marks. But I know this one of these ones had a bigger cut in it and it sealed it up when it cooked. That's crazy. Anyway, um, that's basically it. Now I'm just going to move them over to this. And I'll probably write in the description how good they were. Because I, I don't care enough to wait till they cool down to bite them on camera because I, I just don't care. Uh, that's it. See you guys later. Bye. <laughs>